And today I thought I would do a little video making my solid dish soap because I haven't done that in a little while. So I am getting ready for market season. My first market is May 13th and I really wanted to do some solid dish soap and ramekins. So I hunted and hunted and hunted and hunted everywhere locally online and finally came up with three sizes of ramekins and I'm not sure if these are the sizes that I will have like forever going forward but I do have a 12 ounce ramekin which coincidentally is the least expensive ramekin that I could find and it's the only one I could find locally and then I have a six ounce ramekin which is pretty standard and I feel like that might be like a pretty standard one that a lot of soap makers use and then I have a four ounce ramekin and the four ounce actually looks very small to me so I don't know I I am of the opinion that people will like the six ounce the best but I'm really interested to see what people like so this is my recipe for solid dish soap it is a very simple recipe basically to make solid dish soap you can use any high coconut oil recipe that you want I don't think there's any reason to use any kind of expensive oils or any kind of combination of oils. I think using either 100% coconut oil or cutting it with some olive oil is the best way to go, which is what I'm doing. My recipe is 65% coconut, 35% olive, and then I also add some essential oils sometimes, which I do actually do today. I do about a 2 to 3% super fat, and I find that this soap cleans exceptionally well. It is such an amazing grease cutter. I use it exclusively in my soap studio to wash everything and it's the only soap we use upstairs in the kitchen now. And it really 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 does get things squeaky clean and I find it's not nearly as drying on my hands as using like, I don't know, palm olive and what are, what are the other liquid dish soaps? Whatever they're called, Dawn, I guess. I guess that's what we have at work. So yeah, I really do like this, and it is a very simple recipe. And if you're going to use this recipe, I rec highly recommend running it through soap calc to get your lye measurements correct and your water measurements. But yeah, you can do anywhere from, I would say, at least 50% coconut oil all the way up to 100%, and using whatever other cheap oil you want to use to cut the coconut oil with. For me right now, it's olive oil, but... You know, I mean, I could definitely see doing this with sunflower or something that's even cheaper. And I think it would make just a just fine uh, dish soap. And I, like I said, I use, I'm using a 5% ratio for my, my fragrance, which is lemon eucalyptus essential oil. This is by far the favorite of all of my customers. I have four scents, including a and unscented and lemon eucalyptus is by far the most popular so I think going forward I may only offer lemon eucalyptus and maybe an unscented version I'm not sure and uh, this bucket that I have that I'm using is a 12 12 quart bucket I believe I believe that's what it says on the side and I bought it on Amazon and it's amazing I really only use it though for solid dish soap and when I'm making like 5,000 gram batches for my 50 bar recipe but I have two of them and I really like them and they are perfect for this. And I used to just wear goggles but I actually bought this face shield and since buying it I'm shocked by how much spatter I'm, I'm actually noticing now because it hits the, the, um, the face guard. So for the $20 that this face guard cost, A, it's way more comfortable than wearing goggles over my glasses, and B, it's way, it's way, way more protective of my face and, and just myself in general. So I do highly recommend one. You can find them on Amazon, find them at your local hardware store. Alright, so got my danger water, and I'm just adding that to my bucket. And we're just going to mix everything up, and I do speed this up a lot. This is the only recipe that I really, really go to town mixing and blending because this is the only recipe I have ever had that I've gotten false trace with. I have never had false trace with any recipe ever, 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 ever making soap, except for this one, especially with the lemon eucalyptus essential oil. So I blend it a whole lot more than I normally blend any of my other soaps. And I do find that this recipe does stay very, very pourable. 
So it's really not an issue and better safe than sorry because if you're going to pour 4,000 grams of oils and it doesn't set up properly and it's not sellable, you're going to be very sad. And certainly I do not want to rebatch my soap. I hate rebatching. I actually have 30 blocks of this soap that I am slowly using myself in my soap studio because there was a false trace or something like it's still like the soap is still fine like it's not harsh on my hands or anything but it's not sellable so yeah that's unfortunate so like I said this probably the whole process probably took me about 20-25 minutes and I have shrunk it down to 10 minutes in this video plus whatever time it takes me to do the unmolding of the um, the refills to show you at the end which will probably be about another five minutes so making solid dish soap, or making any soap, actually can be quite quick if you're not doing super complicated patterns and embeds and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, like I say, this this I probably blended for five or, I don't know, eight minutes maybe, at least. A lot longer than I would normally blend any of my other soaps anyway. So here, I'm slowing back down again so you can see it. But it is this beautiful lemon curd yellow color. And already now, like I just... I just made this 15 minutes ago and now I'm doing the voiceover and I can see it like it's already turning very white but it's it's amazing the soapy science how beautiful and yellow and lemon curd like this looks and then within a half hour it's already just a very pale creamy color and you're gonna see here I actually noticed that this tray is kind of lopsided it's it's higher in the middle so I ended up taking them off the tray and just pouring them right on the table because I didn't want them to set crooked, you know, lopsided, whatever, you know what I mean? And I will apologize for the pile of towels in the background that I did not notice until after I was done filming. So yeah, I just pour my batter into a smaller pitcher just so that it's easy to pour and I don't make a giant mess, even though I am still dripping everywhere. That is the bane of my existence and I can't stand it and I have to wipe my table every time I see a drip. So yeah, that first one I poured, those were the 12 ounce ramekins. And for anyone who's interested in Canada, I bought them at Canadian Tire. And then these are the 6 ounce ramekins that I finally decided on. And they came from Amazon. And then I have some 4 ounces that I also bought on Amazon. And like I said, I think the 4 ounces are very popular with other soap makers. The 4 and the 6. But the four just seems small to me, even though that's silly because I sell four ounce bars of soap. But four ounces of dish soap just seems very small. But I think it'd be great for people who want to try it and are not really sure and are like, well, I'll go ahead and do it because, you know, it's it's a ramekin. At least I get a free ramekin out of it. And also you can see me back there. I adjusted the camera so you could see me pouring the refills. The blue and red containers are four inch round um, cake cake uh, pans that I bought on Amazon. I think it was a pack of 12 and they cost, oh what did they cost? They were about $17, $18. And then the other round mold is a three inch round mold and I know you can buy them from Crafter's Choice but they're very expensive in Canada. So I got that one from Amazon. I think it was about $16 or $18 and it came with a two pack. And then I also have a flower mold that's a little bit smaller that you'll see me pick up and it's at a and it's at a screen when I'm pouring. But uh but yeah. So this is my solid dish soap scented with lemon eucalyptus. If you're interested in making this, it's an amazingly easy recipe. It's so so easy to make and it makes a beautiful beautiful dish soap and you can use it for laundry, you can use it for any kind of all-purpose cleaning. And it is what I have finally convinced my husband to use. So we're just going to scrape every last drop out, wipe up the mess, and then I will show you what it looks like. And tomorrow we will be right, we will be back and I will show you the refills unmolded and we'll see how they fit in the empty ramekins that I have. So thank you for watching this part and I will be right back with the rest. Aren't they beautiful? Don't they look like lemon curd? I am resisting the urge to eat them. I hey everyone, so we are back today to show the unmolding of the uh, soap dishes. Um, well, the... These. Can you see? 
There you go, some of the glare is off. So this is the eight ounce container. Beautiful solid soap in a ramekin. We'll show you how big this one is. So this is the 12 ounce ramekin and you can see how much bigger that one is. And then we have the four ounce. Let's see if I can get the glare off a little bit. There we go, the four ounce. And I also have these cute little brushes. So you can use the brush. We're trying to get rid of some of the glare here. So you can use the brush with your soap. And I think you saw me yesterday. These were the cake dishes. So we're just going to unmold that. And, well, some of the dye came off on the dish. Can you see on the soap? It's kind of orange. So that's interesting. Not sure I'd want to use those for uh, making cakes. So this size is the 12, the 12 ounce container and that is what the refill looks like. And of course if you buy the ramekin with the soap in it, you're going to get a little more soap just because of the nature of the dishes and the size of my molds. Now, let's see, let's just see what the blue one looks like, because this is the blue. And, well, that's good. The blue doesn't uh, have any dye coming off on it. It's the right appropriate color. And actually, let's go weigh this. I want to see how much. Let's weigh a couple of these things. So, bear with me. Alright, so... 12 ounce ramekin weighs 350 grams worth of product and the refill is about 300 grams worth of product and that's the uncured weight so it'll be a little bit less. Alright, I'll also just un unmold the third one here. So this is the third refill that I made for the 12 ounces. So now we have our 8 ounce ramekin. And this is what I made. Let's see, get some glare out of the way. These are for, hopefully for this 8 ounce, but I'm not sure. I think they might be too small. Alright, so this is what it looks like. That is my refill. Sorry, it's so bright. And, well, it's not too bad. It sits in there. It's a little bit, it's a little bit small. Now, if you can think of a really great way for me to create a mold that will fit one of these ramekins, something custom, or if you know someone that makes custom molds that can make me a round mold that will fit this ramekin perfectly, I would love to hear from you. Please let me know. All right, so, and this is the four ounce ramekin. Let's just try and get some glare off there. And let's see how this one fits. So that one, that mold is just a little bit too big. So let us, and actually let's also go weigh these and see how much they weigh. All right, so the eight ounce ramekin holds about 210 grams-ish. And the refill is about 200 grams. Actually, I'll be right back. No, that's what I thought. 150 grams. So the refill is 150. So I would like to find something bigger to make my refills with. But if you buy the medium size, 8 ounce, you're going to get about 200, 210 grams of, of product. So we'll just set that there. And the baby one, I don't have, actually, that's not true. I had also filled up some of these flower molds. And this one is what this dish soap looks like. 
And actually, this one fits this container quite perfectly as a refill. I don't know if I can get it out now. Oh, there we go. Oh. So we are going to weigh how much product comes in our four ounce container and we'll weigh our refill. All right, so our four in our four ounce holds about 160 grams of soap and our refill is about 110 grams. So yeah, there you have it. I would really like to find a better a better mold for these if like I said if you have any ideas any uh, DIY ideas I mean I was thinking about it is possible like I could make something out of resin maybe and then I don't know if I were to put six of these molds in a box and pour resin over them I would have to smash them out and then I could then use that mold with silicone to make my inserts. But I feel like I'm overthinking this and someone out there must have a much better idea. Or there's someone out there who does make uh, custom molds that can do them for me. So anyway, just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content, please hit like and subscribe and drop a comment down below for the kind of things you'd like to see in the future. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.